Interpreting Motion Graphs. We can learn a lot about the motion of an object by looking at a graph. We'll be focusing on speed graphs, which graph how far an object moves in a given time of frame. Take a look at the green and red snails. They seem to be moving at a constant speed, with the red snail moving a little faster. So how would that look like on a graph? Constant speed is a straight line on a motion graph. Here, the red snail again shows that it's moving a little bit faster than the green snail. Let's check out this jet, hummingbird, and butterfly. Here's a data table to show how far they moved in 30 seconds. But what would it look like on a graph? Here, we can see it's still a straight line because it's constant speed, but the faster the speed, the steeper the slope. Pay attention to the green snail. Notice how it's moving back to start. So what would that look like on a graph? A negative downward slope indicates a return back to start. Watch the red snail this time. Notice how it seems to be covering more ground at the end. That's because it's increasing speed. Curving up shows that increase in speed. Now look at the green snail. Notice it's not covering as much ground towards the end. That's because it's decreasing speed. Curving down shows decreasing speed. Watch the red snail again. Notice it doesn't seem to be moving. A straight horizontal line shows that an object is not moving. Match the graph to the motion. Which one is showing no motion, increasing speed, constant speed, and decreasing speed? So this one shows no motion. Here is increasing speed, constant speed, and decreasing speed. Now, which graph shows an object that started to slow down, took a rest, and then sped up in the end? So this graph shows that it's curving down in the beginning, so slowing down, then it's a horizontal straight line, so it took a rest, and then it curved up, so it's increasing speed. Thank you for watching another Adventures in iSTEM and Beyond video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for more Adventures in iSTEM and Beyond videos. For more ideas on how to incorporate science, technology, and skills for life into your classroom, go to adventuresinistem.com.